Hey everyone, welcome. Mr. Hancock here. Uh, this video is going to take a few moments to show you how to set up your essays in MLA formatting in Microsoft Office Word, but also um, show you how to access your um, UAPTC um, Microsoft Online, Office Online. So, what I'd like to do now is to show you really quick, um, first off, how to use the basic Word program on a computer. Um, the program that's actually downloaded to the computer, how to set up um, your uh, typing requirements. So first, let's find the typing requirements. I am in my Comp2 online shell here, so if you're in a world lit or anything else, it may be in a different spot. But for your writings, you're always given a document that's called typing requirements. So let's find that. You'll go to Course Content, Unit 1, Week 1, and you'll notice here it is inside the lecture notes. Here it is, typing requirements. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way. Here we are. All right. So when it comes to MLA formatting, MLA stands for Modern Language Association. Every particular um, academic field has a writing style or a typing style in which they will put their essays together. Everybody in that field expects that that style and formatting, so it's just easy. It's a consistent measuring stick for everyone to use um, to get the job done. So here are your typing requirements. Uh, Times New Roman, 12 point font, one inch margins. I say don't touch the margins. Um, they should already be set where they need to be. Um, correct headers, double space everything, and never email me your essays. They need to be submitted through Blackboard always, okay? Um, so at the second page of this document shows you what it should look like, okay? And when you click into this document here, you'll notice that it shows Times Roman, 12 point font. It's even got double spacing throughout. Notice that double spacing between everything, between paragraphs, between the title, the headers, everything like that, okay? So I want to show you really quick on how to get it set up like that in the standard um, downloaded Microsoft Word, okay? So let's go over here. Let me open it up a blank document and here we are okay so one thing you'll notice here in this uh, it already starts off as MLA or excuse me as Calibri body 11 it's also going to be a multiple spacing so the manual way to fix this is click Calibri and find your Times New Roman then click 11 and go to 12 now you need to fix it so it's double spaced so what you'll notice here in this paragraph section right here this little arrow click that arrow it brings up the paragraph box. Now you come to right down here where it says spacing and make sure you go to double. After that, you're not done. I want you to click this box right here. Don't add space between paragraphs of the same style. That will that'll get rid of a little bit of gap you'll see when you push enter. Now we're ready to go. However, we need to talk about our headers. Before you start writing, you need to make sure you have your headers. The one header on the left side of the page um, I'll show you that last, but that will only go on the first page. The top right header, which will include your last name and page number, will go on every page, okay? So I'm going to, let me bring this up here. There we go. I'm going to click up here. I'm going to go to um, Insert. I'm going to slide it down. Even though it's called Header, don't click Header. I'm going to click Page Number. Click Page Number, move my cursor to top of page. Then I'm going to slide it down to number three. Okay, as you can see, there it is. That's what you want. Click that. Now the number's there, okay? Um, but I still need my name, so I'm going to put my last name. I'm John Doe. There it is. Once I finish, I'll close it. Hit this red X. And there it is. That will now paginate on every page. Once you go to the next page, automatically, you don't have to put it in manually and move it around. It's already there. Now I want to put in... Uh, on the left side, my other header. The one I'm about to do only goes on the first page, okay? So this one will be your name. So the student's name, push enter. Right under it should be your instructor's name. Right under that should be the class name. And then right under that, the date with the day first. So today is the 23rd, January. 2020. There it is. Okay. Now, push enter once. Now we need a title. Remember, just push enter once. You don't want big, long, um, um, you know, or big, deep gaps or any spaces like that. So up here under paragraph, you'll notice you have these tabs. 
You want to click the one that's right in the middle, center it. And now you put your title. I'm just going to put title for now so we can have a generic title. Push enter one more time. Move your cursor to the left or indentions to the left. Push tab and now you're ready to start your essay. Okay? Now the essay is in great shape. What some students will do, they will save this like this as a template and open it up every time they need to start a new essay. But that's a saved template like that for a lot of students. So go back and watch that if you want to do it manually like that, okay? Also, another thing you can do, let me just um, start a new one here. Let me see if I can find this here. Layout. Let me see if I can find it. Now they have these things around here. Home. Let me say, I'm adding select to find place. I'm sorry. Yes. It's going to be on your see header footer okay there we're good all right so I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop right there for a minute all right so here we go so all right now let's uh let's go on back to the um, to the actual browser here don't save and now what I want to show you here is how to actually open this up and use the word online word online is really good because a lot of students are getting to where they're not using as many flash drives in the computer or emailing it to themselves um, they want a way to be able to access it on um, whatever computer they may go to without having to carry or lose a flash drive and things like that. So a lot of students are moving to Word Online. I highly recommend it. So I want to show you how to access it. No matter where you are, number one, just like you're going into Blackboard, log into the portal. Once you log into the into the portal, and I'm not showing you this right here, but log into the into the portal and then log into your UAPTC email. Okay. When you do. And of course, I'm in um, I'm inside of uh, the calendar right now because I don't want to put sensitive, you know, information up from my email account. But what you'll notice is that it'll look like this, but it should be your email account. Up in the top left corner, you see these nine dots in the square shape. That's your app launcher, all right? Outlook, as you can see, that's your email. That's where you should open up when you go into your college email. But now you have access to all these other things: Word, Excel, PowerPoint, all this stuff. Okay. Um, including the calendar. That's what you see with me right now. Now, over here, let's click Word. When I click that, it's going to take me straight into Word. Now, we can see that we've got all this stuff that I could possibly do. So notice at the top really quick right here, you'll see where it says you can open up a completely brand new bl uh, blank Word, or Word document. You can do an APA style paper for those classes. And for this class, you have an MLA style paper. So I'm going to open that up. For a minute to show you and of course it's going to look a little bit different as you can see than what we saw with the actual program that's downloaded on my computer but still here it is this has it set up for you ready to already go of course you have to go in here and delete all this stuff you know even they even have a sample works side of page you can get rid of that stuff but it's all right because it still shows you how it should look so let's take a look really quick at this header notice you can't see the header anymore but it has a little tab that says header click that and it asks you what you want to put so for last name I'm gonna put my last name Doe okay there it is I'm done with that boom so like when I click back on it again my name is there that number the uh, pound sign inside of the um, the um, brackets that's going to be um, that's your page number obviously so anyway it doesn't show up doe one or anything like that but you see that if I click it doe shows back up it's there okay now over here we just fill in these blanks the right way yeah come on now sometimes the um, it'll do that the uh, backspace will act silly on this and I think my inserts off it's gonna act silly all together Doe. Now come over here, and like I said, I will just simply put that in, Mr. Hancock. Click that. Course number. I don't put course number. I put just the name of the, the class. There, it's kind of messed up on me. Comp one. That's good for now. Then your date, 23 January. There we go. You see? And now you don't have to have a subtitle. Just type your title. Title. And then I'll get rid of subtitle part here. That's for me. But notice this is already here ready to go. All you've got to do 
is the formatting is already set. Just come down here and delete all this stuff. I am. That's what I do. Delete it and start. And see, there's a little bit left. Delete that. Start writing. See, notice what it just did, though. When I push enter, it did that. Now, when I type, get a wrap, and I push enter again. So notice what it's doing. It has an automatic um, paragraph indention set to when I push enter, it goes to a new paragraph and indents it for me, okay? So you'll notice that right there. I didn't indent there. So there. So when I say I'm going to finish this paragraph, see? Everything's already set up. Double spacing, all that kind of stuff I was already talking about, okay? So y'all, um, number one thing is to get in there and play around. If you need help, let me know, and I'll help you even more, okay? Notice, too, at the top it says document and it says saved. It automatically saves as you write this. And the really cool thing is is that when you get out and, and go back on it on another computer or even on the same computer, it's there waiting on you where you left off, okay? So that's the really cool thing about this. Obviously, you could still save. I'll go to File and make sure I uh, see it's going to show up. There's all kinds of stuff in here that I've been doing. So um, you can save as. See, that's when you save as. That's when you can download it to your computer um, and so on, all right? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, in the next video that you'll see how you will um, save a document and upload it as a paper, as a, as a document in the assignment itself, okay? But for now, this is done. This is, I mean, let's just say my paper is done. I finished my paper and it's saved on here, okay? It's on Microsoft Word, okay? I can even come up here and rename it. Click that and press test paper. There we go. Boom. Saved. Everything's good, all right? So, I'm going to leave it at that. If you need some more help, um, watch this video again, obviously, and let me know if you have any questions, okay? Uh, thank you.